Alright, I'm so excited. I got a box from uh, Friendly Arm. We've got three nano pies. Woo! Me. Three nano pies and some accessories. So, I'm going to go ahead and open everything. I'll be back. Because I don't have a tripod. I moved off this. I need a get prepared. Okay, so first board up is the NanoPie Neo Plus 2. Um, so this has two USB 2s, a gigabit ethernet. On top here we have a Wi-Fi Bluetooth module, a AP60 6212, a uh, Ethernet controller, power in, uh, SD card, and then on the bottom we have our RAM. That's so bright. We have our RAM and a EMMC. There we go. A Samsung, it looks like. I can't tell. Anyways, and the H5 quad core processor. So, that I think is an 8 gigabyte EMMC. And then the standard heatsink is that. And it's the exact same heatsink that is found on the Nano. Woo! NanoPi Neo 2. So, the biggest difference between this one and that one is the EMMC, the additional uh, USB slot, and um, it has the pins already soldered on. Oh, and Wi-Fi. This one doesn't have Wi-Fi. But it's the same heatsink that this one uses, which I thought was pretty awesome that they're able to reuse a heatsink. Um, you know, that's always a good thing. But, one of my favorite little accessories is the metal case. So the metal case comes with a uh, heat sink, specially made for it. It actually slides inside of the case. As you can see, there is a rail right there that this slides down into. And that's how the uh, board fits in and out and it comes with thermal pad and a uh, special <laughs> Wi-Fi antenna there we go um, since it is a metal case this Wi-Fi antenna connects to the panel and allow there's enough slack that you can pull the board out so yay um i don't expect the performance to be any different than this one but uh maybe with the emmc it may be a little bit faster all in all this isn't a bad little performing board but stay tuned for some results using my uh uh, benchmarking tool. To put the heat sink for the metal case on, you want to make sure the blank area is over the USB and Ethernet area, and then just put your thermal pad on, flip it, set it down, put the screws in. You have your heat sink attached. You are going to want and line up the heat sink with the case and just slide it on in. And there you go. Woohoo! Next, you want to take off the red cap and the uh, nut behind it. That way, you can attach it to the back panel. Just so you can see, the slot is slightly keyed, 
to fit the flat edge of the barrel connector through it and it kind of locks it in place after sliding it through I put on the lock washer and tighten down the nut I forgot to show that you put the serrated washer on the back side of the plate and then when you screw down the lock washer and the front nut it helps retain everything now you want to take your mini coax connector and attach it where it says antenna once that's on you can slide it into the case and attach the back panel one thing I do want to note is it's kind of in a hard place to get to so I put it down on and then I pressed it with my screwdriver tip and finally you take the rubber washer that is included in the kit slide it all the way on I'm having a hard time doing it with one hand and then screw that on uh, the antenna that is and there we go the final look can't wait to hook this up and play with it so I'm editing video and I realized I didn't make a uh, uh, thanks for watching part for like five videos so this is the part for five videos so thank you for watching if you like the video hit the like button if you didn't like the video the other button works and uh, I'm gonna drink some more coffee cuz it's like five in the morning thanks for watching Bye. Damn it.